Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd do one more video uh, today. This is Monkey Island 2. I'm more familiar with Monkey Island 3. I played the uh, played that game to death. I know it like inside and out, but never really played 2. Uh, I've had it for a while, thought I'd check it out and uh, yeah, just give you guys some gameplay. Obviously it's been improved over the older, older version of the Monkey Island 2 game, so... Yeah, let's take a look and uh, see how we get on with these puzzles. Alright. Play new game, there we go. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Largo Embargo. Oh, we're going into Wood Tick. Don't go on that bridge. There's like, oh, don't. Oh, oh we're going in. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Is this some sort of bribe situation? No, more like extortion. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Then who keeps up the law and maintains order? I'm the only law on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Okay, here is the big... I turn it off, I don't want the audio commentary. Hmm. Okay, so how do we do this again? Hmm, hello, Woodsmith. <clears throat> yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but oh. I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Nice apron. 
Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. He looks buff. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? No one touches her but me. Get away from there. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. It says Woody. That's me. Oh no you don't. It's not a toy. Okay. Nothing in my inventory. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo <laughs> Legrand. Here he you comes. Uh-oh. Give me my usual. And put it in a real glass. Damn. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Damn. Largo's been here. I don't want to touch it with my hands. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. It's a metronome. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. <laughs> I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and Foul tasting is that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Hey, hired help only. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out. Does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. 
Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hmm. Nice. What a dinky little door. What a dinky little door. Well, I guess I can't go through there then. It's over here. Nice! Nice! Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. Uh, excuse me? What is it? Long time no see. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. How nice for you. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Yeah? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips and search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies? <laughs> he told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. <laughs> uh. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um... But... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well... We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh... Uh... Hmm... Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcophobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. 
Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. <laughs> Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well... No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Can we open this box? I think I'll probably trap the, uh, the mouse in there, or the rat. Maybe. Nice. He looks nice enough. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the clean as they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean <laughs> change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. I'm sorry. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Right, let's go out of here, back to the street. Let's see what the audio commentary has to say. Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse. Right? Yes. This mm -hmm. is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We had like two like full-time programmers who were doing nothing but programming the iMuse transitions. Because like game. it's a main theme outside, and then every time you go into one of these inner locations or inside the the house, it would enable or disable instruments, and it right. would change the theme a little right. bit. Right. Right. Yeah. No, iMuse was like absolutely amazing. Oh, huh. that's a pretty cool piece of information. Anyway. No more commentary. Who's this dude? There's a baby alligator. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, isn't that cute? I'll pick him up. I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. All right. Can I uh, pull the rope? And it's securely fastened. Hmm. So we have a bucket and a piece of AIDS. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only hmm. have one and it's full. Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Can we open that door? Hold it right there! That's Maybe a not. private room. No going up there. Okay. Busy guy. Time is money. I don't think I'd get away with that. Be with you in a second. Be with you in a second. Alright, let's go back out. Let's go get that polish for his uh, his boot, I guess. Oh, for his um, wooden leg. Can we go in here? 
Oh, we can go in here, okay. Hello. I love Wally the cartographer. Wally has just been... Oh, it's Wally, okay. I remember him from the third one. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Good to know. Can I see your files? Actually, there's not anything in them. I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Oh, them? Yeah, I know about them. Of course. Well, well. Guess you don't need me, then. I'm not dressed for wrestling. <laughs> I'll pick up his papers. Did I just steal his papers? I've got enough. What is that? It's blank. Oh, okay. Uh... That doesn't seem to work. Nice map. I like it too. I still his monocle when he puts it down. Oh damn. Gotta be quick. He is quick on that monocle. One more time. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see Oof. a thing without it. It's good. Give me that monocle. <laughs> hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Where is that thing? It's too small. It's too small. I swear I put it right here. I hope S I didn't lose it. I can't reach it. Nice map. Drew it myself. I'll never be able to afford a new one. Nice map. Yep. Oh, How bad. am I supposed to work? Stealing his map. Uh, monocle. Dang. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Could you tell me about the men who buried Big Whoop? Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, <clears throat> that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library, if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. <laughs> the only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. 
And the swamp rot in has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks. That's all I need to know. Okay, but don't be shy if you think of a question. Thanks. I gotta go. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm such a dope. Right, let's go back in here and see if we can get that polish or varnish. <clears throat> yeah? Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. That's about the best peg leg I've ever seen. Thanks. I made it myself. Get away from there! Get your hands away from there. It's adjusted to my height. Hey, don't touch that. It's not for sale. Well, let's give him his uh, polish. Varnish. Polish that. I don't want to polish that. I don't want to polish that. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Nice. Here we go. I just pull off his leg. That wouldn't be wise. That doesn't seem to work. Nice. They're sleeping peacefully. Hmm, rats kind of, uh, I might have to get some cheese, I guess. From somewhere, probably the kitchen down there. Well, I'll try and go somewhere else. Okay, let's go, we've got the beach, cemetery, and the peninsula. Let's go to the beach, and there's a swamp there as well, I guess. Let's go to the beach. Oh, we picked up a stick, okay. This door appears to be locked. <laughs> Looks closed. Okay, we can't go there then. We already spoke to these guys. He's back! Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no. Not this story again. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me. Do we have any weenies left? Alright, let's go somewhere else. Steaming weenies, 20 feet. Steaming weenies, 20 feet. Alright. 
Uh, let's go to the swamp. International House of Mojo. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Right, off we go. Damn. Well, I'll just take a little. Display model. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. No thanks. I don't need it. Oh de Mojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Guybrush Threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root, and how to turn it into the powerful, ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him, because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave mm. enough to go get them for me. That spit. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hmm. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. <laughs> Thanks. Now go. All right. Let's head back to the mainland. Oh. Yeah, land, I guess. Okay, so we'll go to the cemetery now. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Here lies Nibbles the dog. He was a bad dog. We're glad he's dead. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. It looks like it's been sealed shut, but then again, why would I want to go in there? Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. <laughs> I love that. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. There once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. Damn. 
No man commanded Jean-Louis, not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Nice. Nice. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. That doesn't seem to work. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. Hmm. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. The grouts. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. The quagmires. No trespassing. Giggity. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. The rickets. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Okay, so there's nothing else there, but we know grave we need is up there. Let's find a shovel or something, I guess. Let's head to the peninsula. Okay, what have we got here? Captain Dread. I never liked his name. Captain Dread. No? That's a yeah. great name. I never liked his name. Captain Dread. That's it's a great both name. scary pirate name. You're wrong. And dreadlocks. Mm. Maybe you don't realize this, but those big chunks of hair are called dreadlocks. I think. I think it was because the pun was too <laughs> obvious. <laughs> oh, there's something too obvious, not subtle enough in Monkey Island for you, pants dropper. Right. <laughs> well, it's because you're missing all the symbolism of the pants dropping. The thing I didn't and... like. Spoiler, I guess. Hello. Hello, man. My name's Captain Dredd. What can I do for ya? Navy Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Lago has an embargo on the island. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, and I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Wait, can't I just give him that necklace? Will that work? Um, necklace, the monocle. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. There you go. What can I do for ya? I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Okay. Right, I didn't find a shovel or anything. Uh, let's go back to where we were.
Welcome to Wood Tip. No treasure hunting zone. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. doesn't seem to work. I don't want to polish that. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to polish that. Hmm. It says Woody. That's me. That doesn't seem to work. Oops. Ah, right. Let's see if we can get that spit off the uh, off the wall there. That's sick. It certainly is. There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. Ugh. Gross. Ooh, yuck. Spit on paper. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. It's a metronome. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hmm. Can't I do anything right? Oh, shoot. I'm not dressed for wrestling. Poor guy. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. I bet my mom would help me find it if she were alive. For crying out loud. Yeah, I feel kind of bad. Poor Wally. Oh, what have we got here? Can I put... I think all he wants right now is sleep. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. I have better things to do than beat up baby reptiles. <laughs> I don't want to polish that. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Hmm. What else have we got here? Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Alright, so we need hair. And some of the dead. I bet I could find it in here. In the uh, there's some clothing in here of his. I bet you. It's sparkly clean. No ticket, no laundry. What would I do with that? What would I do with that? I beat him with it. What would I do yeah. with that? Hmm. It's sparkly clean. He looks nice enough. Nice. It won't fit in my pocket. Can 
Can I trap this guy? Let's just wait for a second. I need cheese, I think. Just to get him in there. Yeah, he ain't going in there, is he? No, we don't clean leather. Hmm. Let's go back. Yeah, some of these puzzles take a little while to solve. Wrap Scallion's Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. See if they've got anything else to say. He's back. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named... Captain Dredd. Yikes. It sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you'll listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. Jeez. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to ride. That was beautiful. Ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, besides the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story again, there's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Largo Legrand is back on Scab. He used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. You don't want to get Largo on your bad side. Hmm. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. <laughs> well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Nice. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop the video just there, guys. I'll see you. Uh, see you next time.